Hello, here's your favorite Wookie and today I'm going to tell you about how to start running and I'll give you a quick update about how uh, is my running progress going and what's happening with my meditation challenge. Let's go! So, let's begin! My, I have three tips for you and I believe this is enough to get you started. And the first one is just go. I know that sounds super simple, but believe me, it's, it's it's really that simple. You just need to take your most comfortable shoes, shorts, t-shirt, and just go. Go and run. That's enough. That's really enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest on the go, and after some time you'll learn more about what shoes do you need, what trainings you should do, what workouts, but all the rest, it's not necessary at the start, believe me. Don't overthink it, just grab what you have and go and run! Second tip! And you know, in our body we have two types of engines, and one is responsible for very fast, very quick, intense workouts, but the second one is for endurance. And you should care about this engine at the beginning. And this one you can develop by going very slow. Not very, very slow, but just slow. Slower than, probably slower than you think you should. So at the beginning you should just go and run in a pace that is comfortable for you to keep talking with another person. If you're not able to speak, if you're, if you're breathing very heavily all the time, it's too fast. And probably at the beginning you won't be able to keep talking while you're running, and that's completely okay. You're not used to it and it's completely fine to mix walking with running at the beginning. And uh, for example, you can start with uh, two minutes of running and two minutes of walking and total time of the workout could be like 30 minutes, it's completely fine. And over time you can increase the time that you're running and lower the time that you're walking. And it's not a shame to walk because over time that help you, that will help you to run more. So, I'm continuing running. So, the tip number three is recover well. So, get a proper sleep, eat right, it's very, very important for someone who's trying to work out and make a progress. Some people are not aware that you're not making progress while you're doing the workout. You're making progress during the recovery. So you're making progress during sleeping or just lying and resting. So this is the very, very important part of every type of physical acti activity. So remember to sleep right, to eat right, stretch after your workouts and you'll be fine. So let's make a quick recap. First tip is um, just go. Don't, over, don't overthink it, just go. Second one is go slow. And the third tip is remember about the recovery. And that's really all, that's all you need. That's all you need to get started. And of course, there's a lot, lot more to learn, but trust me, I could go about it for hours. And I'm not sure if you want to watch a two hour long movie of me just talking to a camera and explaining, hey, you need this type of shoes, and hey, you should stretch in this, this, this manner at the beginning. Because at the beginning is not that important. It makes difference for people who are running for some time and like they are trying to make more progress but at the beginning that's all you need. I got you covered. But if you have some questions that I left unanswered and answered, then write them down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help. So yeah, and now let me give you a quick, very quick update about my running progress. 
so I started running again six weeks ago. I'm still in the foundation phase when I'm building the base for further workouts. I'm not doing any speed workouts, I'm not doing any specific workouts. I'm just going and running in a easy pace of five minutes per kilometer to five thirty minutes per kilometer. Hello, it's Tuesday. I'm just finishing my 10k run. Uh, today it's very slow, very steady, steady, uh, 540 minutes per kilometer. Uh, I'm doing around 50 kilometers per week, which is definitely not a lot, but I will increase the volume over time. Oh, I'm in the middle of my long run right now. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, 13 kilometers. And I'm going to introduce speed workout soon because I feel I'm ready for it and I'm really excited because that's, you know, after a speed workout you feel completely exhausted but you're so satisfied. And I'll keep you updated about that. And I think I think about way of sharing my progress with you so it will be visible for everyone and this will keep me motivated even more. But I'll let you know about it. And this guy over there in here, he was my companion during my first year of running. But now he's too old, right? You're too old. Hey, come here. As I said in my previous video, I started a 30-day challenge and the challenge is to meditate every single day during June. And so far, so good. I really enjoy it. At the beginning, it was hard just to sit down and do nothing, but now I get used to it. And I know it's still a lot to do, but I see two benefits from meditating every day. Um, but first, let me tell you about a little, a little bit about what is meditation, at least for me. So, meditation for me, it looks like this. I'm just sitting down, taking my headphones, listening to some nice background noise, and for 15 minutes, I'm focusing only on breathing. So, of course, I'm not trying to not think about anything because this is contrary to meditation. I'm just observing what pops up in my mind and then I'm just calmly trying to calm myself and to focus on breathing. And as I said, I see two main benefits right now. And first one is related with the time. Actually, both of them are related to the time I'm meditating because the first one is when I'm meditating during the morning, it gives me really a good head start. It's like I'm starting the day with a really, really good way. I'm happy, I feel energized, I have my head is clear, I'm not, you know, in a rush to just to like answer the email, answer the social media, answer the messages and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm just calm and I'm not so much reactive. I can ask myself, hey, do I really need to do it? And the second benefit is related to meditation just before going to sleep. Because usually when you go to sleep, at least for me that's true that I have a lot of thoughts bouncing around my head. And if I go and meditate before that, I have 15 minutes to calm myself down, to let these thoughts to tune out, and it works. I fall asleep easier and I feel like my sleep has better quality. I'm not sure if it's technically true, but I feel like it, so I guess it is. 
And I'm going to continue the challenge and uh, I will let you know in the further weeks uh, what more did I observe, but so far so good, so far so good. So I just finished training 16 kilometers with a fast finish and it's time to finish this video so if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, please click like on the video, click subscribe, see you next time!